Can it be? I never thought I'd have the pleasure of seeing you again, Frigg. Uh, don't call me that. I haven't been that person in a long time. But I'm happy to see you, too. I'd feared the worst for so long. What you must have been through. Nothing so bad as what you've suffered. Freya, I am so, so sorry to hear what happened to Baldur. He was only a boy when I saw him last, but... I know he meant more to you than anything. Yes. And to forbear your vengeance in this way, it's, it's truly an inspiration for those of us who believe in peace. The only peace these realms will ever know is once Odin is gone. Believe in that. So you're not here to prevent Ragnarok. You're here to bring it about. I'm here to make sure Odin doesn't hurt anyone. The way he hurt us. I can see I've upset you. Forgive me. I am far removed from my days of diplomacy. I truly thought we'd seen the last of Tyr. Perhaps there really is cause for hope. She's no less majestic than the last day I saw her. What a thing I must be to look at. But you were gone for two days. But you were gone for two days. With nobody to watch your back. I'm your partner. We're not supposed to keep secrets. You sound just like father. Whose side are you on? Whose side? I don't know. What does it even mean to be on your side right now? How do I know you won't be running off to Asgard next? If I did, at least I'd be somewhere I could make a difference. Now that is crazy talk. That is the craziest of all possible talk. Why? Odin had the chance to kill me. But he didn't. He offered to teach me. Maybe if I had more answers, I could prevent... Prevent what? What is this about? It doesn't matter. Just let it go, okay? But you were gone for two days, with nobody to watch your back. If you have business in other realms before speaking to your son, I'll join you. It's been so long since I could travel at will. No, love, I said hit the child, not caress it with the wind of a complete miss. If you're traveling, I'm coming with you. I didn't fight for my freedom just to stay cooped up. Alfheim? What's there? We still have unfinished business there. We found a Hofkufa out in the Barrens, my lady. In terrible pain. We freed it, but there's another in town somewhere beneath the Forbidden Sands. A Hofkufa? I haven't seen one since I was a child. And what else? There's still that secret elven library in Alfheim. Lead the way.
completed some new blueprints. I think you'll find them useful. If I don't have it, you don't need it. What can I make for you? Nothing appeals to you? Do you regret it, Mamir? Most likely. Ah! Uh, what are we talking about in particular? Giving up your body? I regret exchanging my life for my freedom? That's a question I ask myself every day, my lady. What about today? Today? Glad to be out in the world. How else could I spend such quality time with you? <laughs> okay, okay. I've always wondered, why was Freya so revered here so quickly upon his first arrival? Well, to begin with, it wasn't his first arrival. Very few know this, but Freya was one of the earliest visitors to Alfheim, back in the dawn of realm travel. Oh? But before my time. Do you tell. We believed for a long time that all the giants had died in the Flood, until one of them appeared in Vanaheim. Her name was Gerd, and she came offering to teach us the secrets of traveling between realms using Bifrost light. Freyr became immediately infatuated with her. He always yearned to wander, and along came someone who could truly show him how. Wait, let us look this way. Much of the sand has been cleared away, but another storm rages beyond that pass, which must mean... Another half Gufa. <laughs> Odd. It looks as though the Light Elf sealed off this section of the Barrens. Why? Luckily for us, a very considerate goddess has enhanced our magic chisel, and we can unseal it. My. That is lucky. The Forbidden Sands lay beyond. Contested territory, according to Vela. And another storm to endure. Mechie. <laughs> I remember when Freya and I traveled to this realm as children. The desert was healthy and full of life back then. I can't help but fear that era has ended for good and our efforts here are futile. It's a fair concern. Healing this land will take more than a pair of singing Hafkufa. But I have to believe in the long run we're doing right by Alfheim. Start looking for a way underground. Keep a lookout for a cave.
put it on one of my horns. Let's see if I can pull it off. No. archive of knowledge. No sign of the lighthouse. For now. Maybe they've left for the day, and we can browse at our leisure. <laughs> of the Valin schematics, eh? You know of him? Aye. One of the most gifted dwarven smiths around. Until he developed a conscience, anyhow. These rooms... alone are not enough to end the Elven War, but restricting their access only serves those who wish to prolong it. Taking a page out of Odin's book. Aye, quite the advantage for the Light Elves. <laughs> Vier spoke of an exile of the same name. Odds are he'd like a gander at that particular text. Here's the librarian would like a word. Lotta Framborg. Sounds like she wants that journal back. No. <laughs>
A shield strike! Shield 
them by hiding all this knowledge away our ally wishes to read this journal we are taking the book I'm impressed thought you were going to end her. When last we traveled here, after Fay passed, I killed an elf of great importance. The ramifications were dire for his people. I do not wish to make the same mistake twice. Oh! <laughs> 
That's the beauty of a locked door. It could be anything. Monsters, treasure. No, in our luck, it'll be a bit of both. appreciate our work here in the desert. I wonder if he knows how poorly this realm has fared in his absence. Aye. Hearing the Song of the Sands again is a rare privilege, even if it's only a solo act. Or a duet, once this Hofgufa is free. It is not of the Dark Elves. An abandoned ancient settlement, by the looks of it. Built long before the Lightwell's creation. More hive matter as well. I'd say we're on the right track, then. Sensitive to sound. How odd. When I last came here with you and Atreus, I assumed the absence of Alfheim's light was an aberration. I didn't realize it was covered by another. Aye. And as far as the Dark Elves are concerned, it's that light column in the center of the temple that's the aberration. Just look at how old some of these surfaces are. Far older than the light well, or even our trapped Hathgifer for that matter. That's quite the empathetic perspective, Mimir. 
Well, dangle from a burly god's backside for a few winters, and you'll find yourself looking for all sorts of new perspectives. More high, but denser. <laughs> Too thick for that. Maybe the twilight stone on the ground will help. There you go. Enemy behind you! Oh, brother! Are we bastards about to explode? Enemies on the left! Oh, my God. 
more to go. Underneath the barons, do they? Territory changes hands often in Alfheim, or so it appears. Big Vier did mention that these ruins have historical significance for the Light Elves. I assume they're only here to keep intruders out. Well, at least they tried. <laughs> <laughs> I suspect the corpse below would disagree.
Look there. That hive doesn't like sound, remember? Good eye. Let's continue, shall we? These half goofers will allow them to breed again. It was a dazzling display once. The skies of Alfheim filled with their sun. I imagine it's the lack of fresh light that's caused this pair to grow abnormally large. No use in having babies if there's nothing for them to feed on. Trying to protect their children from a harsh world. I can relate. Hmm?
wonder if these two comprehend the choice they face once free. What choice do you speak of? The life cycle of the Hafgufa. In order to breed, they must pass on their life to their children. And without light, they will die. I suppose that's all any of us can hope for in the end. That our death has purpose. That we can live on through our children. Well, given another chance, I know what you're saying.
Almost there.
Hi, back to the surface then. It appears we've overstayed our welcome in our time. Time to end this storm. Solace in knowing you did what you thought was best for your son's safety. Even these creatures know there is little choice for a parent. You are not alone. 
I'm not, am I? And now neither are they. Get misty. It's beautiful. Thank you, Kratos. This land sings once more. We've done good here. No rush to leave yet, is there? Who knows what kind of adventures await us in a freshly lit barrens? <laughs> a statue of my brother. How quaint. That's odd. The runes are dark. What purpose does all this serve, other than a testament to my brother's vanity? Difficult to say without an inscription. But it looks like the elves built this place together, light and dark. Which means this would have been their first act of cooperation in generations. A far cry from lasting peace, but perhaps it served as a no. monument. One that symbolizes the potential for peace. <laughs> This statue may have survived Freya's absence, but a truce clearly did not. Monuments are useless to those who ignore their message. He didn't create a truce through diplomacy alone. His godhood, his very presence is what healed this land and allowed peace to take root. But once he left, he had to have known what would happen. Well... He had good reason to leave. Some jackass convinced his sister to marry a madman. You're right. Normally we'd have to provide our own. Perhaps slotting a crystal on the opposite side could shed some light on this mystery. Ugh. said monuments are useless. Why restore this one? It was hidden for some time. Perhaps now it can serve as a reminder. Aye. Nothing reminds people of their history like chiseled, well-lit marble.
of crystal shards glow. Looks like we can read the inscription now as well. In honor of the enlightened one, may his gift of light shine eternal. Ah, gift of light. The light from the crystals. It is in the sand now. Would you look at that? Freya's gift endures after all. Or should I say, his presence? You are not funny. Surely a bit of extra light in the desert isn't enough to make it last. Before I met Faye, I could not imagine a life of peace. After her death, in our travels to Jotunheim, I found peace on my own. It remains my responsibility to make it last. Perhaps the elves will find peace again one day, even without Freya's guidance. His presence continues to guide them, whether they realize it or not. What a massive door we found earlier. That door required two keys. Aye, so it did. Let's keep looking then. Here. A dawn bloom. You have an interest in botanicals now? Another sleep control, courtesy of the dwarves.
once we can bring these two animals back to Vanaheim. Or Midgard, even. Becky and Svana could use the company. We have kennels. It would not go well for them. Once a predator becomes accustomed to a land, it is cruel to move them. I suppose you're right. It just seems lonely out here. It is peaceful. They have each other. It is enough. I must say, I think we make a good team. With my brains, Kratos' brawn, and my lady's, uh... Wisdom? Magic? Ability to tolerate you for long periods of time? I was going to say brutality. That works. Getting back to your brother while the realm travel. You said he fell in love with his teacher. Yes, Gerd. Someone he could wander with as never before. So, wander they did, exploring the world tree from root to branch. But one day, it came time for Gerd to wander away. Freya was heartbroken, and resolved himself to perform some great feat to win her back. He set his aim on the grandest of gestures. He intended to be the first to find the elusive source of Bifrost light. And he succeeded, although quite by accident. Freyer believed he navigated best while fortified by a potent blend of Vanir herbs. When he wandered, he wandered. And he managed to wander from the World Tree directly into the Lake of Souls. The elves have never seen anybody come out of the lake before, so it got some attention. Oh, that is bloody hilarious. I don't know whether he worked his charms at that point, or they just assumed him to be a great deity. But of course, he hadn't made this journey in search of responsibility, so he didn't stick around long. Still, the legend of his manifestation was passed along through the ages. It even endured after the Great Division, remembered by light and dark elf alike. So when at last he returned, he was uniquely situated to gain the trust of both sides and help to create a truce. The problem was, both sides trusted only him. So the peace could only last as long as he stayed around to keep it. And with the long war dragging on without an end in sight, I suppose making any kind of peace was an irresistible notion for him. Even if it meant having to rule. <laughs> 